Princess is in trouble. We have to go now. Oh, mamma mia, we're not going to make it in time. What are we going to do? You need any help? Let's go. <laughs> Good afternoon, Gettysburg. I'm Jared Hurd. And I am Yanni Tasso, and you are watching none other than The Warrior Wire. Now, Jared. Yanni. Uh, this is April Fool's Day this weekend. That's why some things may seem a little bit different today than those episodes. But nonetheless, a great show for all of you today. Um, Yanni, uh, Jared, I'm sorry. What do you have on the docket for the, today? The name tag is right uh, here. Uh, Yanni, I'm sorry, I missed it. I missed it. What so, do you have on the docket today? Yanni, fortunately, I don't know if you heard about this, but Maxwell Wolf, quite the artistic man he mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. Now, thankfully, me and Cameron Bishop, none other, of course, got the opportunity to sit down with Max, talk about his art, and talk about what inspires him to be an artist. Let's take a look at that. Today, we have the opportunity like no other. Cameron Bishop, we get to look at Max Wolf's art, which, I don't know if you know this, has been ranked for a gold key, really? number one in the nation for his art piece. Let's take a look at it. Max Wolf, congratulations on the award, by the way. How do you do, sir? Thank you, and I'm well. All right, it's a little warm in here. You want to sit down, talk about your art? Absolutely. And maybe I'm thinking that with this interview, we get a little wild. And while I'm interviewing you, both you and Cameron will compete to draw me as I'm interviewing you with questions. What do you say? I say, let's do it. Before this interview starts, uh, I wanted to get your opinion on a couple of art pieces that I have done. Uh, let's just take a look. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. These are, those are, those are good. The next National Medal oh. So, Cameron, Max, this is the pose I've decided to strike for today's art session. Now, Max, I'm interested to hear what have your inspirations been in when drawing this art piece? And for those who don't know, what do you call your art piece? What was the name? Well, so, I didn't really have very many inspirations for this piece. I kind of was taking pictures out the back um, window. I have a window in my bathroom <laughs> that looks out the back of my house. And I thought, well, this is kind of ugly. Why not make something beautiful out of it? Please then, Max, are you going to call this piece Bathroom Window? I think that seems a bit appropriate, and I think you should name it that. And then when it wins money, I should get a cut of the profit prize. That sounds good. It's called Outback, so it's close. Outback yeah. Steakhouse. Now, Max, in terms of how long have you been doing art? Like, how long has it taken to reach a level in which that quality of the painting has made? Not till recently. After I had a big surgery, has my art actually been good? It was kind of weird when I was recovering. I started painting and I was like, oh my gosh, this is actually not terrible. Um, so yeah, I just went from there. All right, Max, so word has gotten around that you've won this award. So talk to me about what comes next for you and what exactly have you won? Yeah, I won a national gold medal through Scholastic um, Art and Writing Awards. I never expected to win that. I won a gold key, which a lot of other people in the school won, um, which is also really exciting. And you go to Harrisburg and everything for that. And all those pieces are entered at a national level. Um, and then from then on, they get judged in New York City. And then at this point, they release the, the list of people and I was on the list. So I get to go to New York City, um, to Carnegie Hall, and get my gold medal. Um, they light up the Empire State Building gold. It's a, it's a whole big deal and it's pretty exciting.
excited to see one of these projects, frightened to see the other. Mm -hmm. After hours of in this pose, it is finally time to see what the gentlemen have prepared. On three, you will both release your art in front of my face. One, two, three. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Very detailed. I don't even like know who that is, but I believe that it's me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I love good. how you tied the Yanni in the background. Okay. This one's <sighs> better than I expected. This, um, it looks like a character from an online video game that a teacher has let you play, combined with a raggedy hand doll. The hair is probably the best part. And I like the stars, too. That's a problem. I like how the sun's out and the stars are out. Congratulations once again to Mr. Max Wolf. Hey, proud of you. Well done. Cameron, we'll send it back to the studio. Well, Yanni, I had a lot of fun. It was an honor to you not only you know talk to Max about his amazing mm -hmm. artwork, but get to see him draw something so good close up. Here is uh, our own field reporter, Cameron Bishop's rendition of... Uh... Of that portrait looks very I good. I believe that nice was probably getting nice a job. participation medal at the most. Hey, at the least, I think. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, Jared, um, Easter is coming up, and that means it's time for one of my favorite segments on the show. I bet I can guess what it's called. What? Is it cooking with Creole? It is cooking with Creole. Now, Jared, I love to go into the kitchen. You know, I work at Olivia's. I like to make stuff in the kitchen, and Miss Creole is always such a willing participant in our show. So uh, let's see what we had to cook up this time on Cooking with Creel. Valentine's Day special. It was such a success. We're back again for more. So, Mrs. Creel, what are we making today? Well, we had talked about wanting to get back outdoors and, you know, start thinking of spring and summer yes, of and having a campfire and just doing some cooking outdoors because mm -hmm. I think we're tired of the winter. But then we can't build a campfire because what happened? It snowed. It snowed. We didn't have school. But uh, no, we're, we didn't. We're, we're here now, yeah. so uh, why so don't we make something in the kitchen? So, Mrs. Creel, normally mm -hmm. when we find ourselves in your kitchen right. with you, we're normally connecting it to a holiday of some sort. Absolutely. So, uh, how are our s'mores connecting to Easter this week? Well, I think nothing says Happy Spring or Happy Easter better than our friends, the Marshmallow Peeps. Definitely, definitely. Absolutely. So, right. I think that's going to take the place. All right, let's get cooking. All Gettysburg, we've got our tray of treats. Let's go pass them out. Here comes Peter. Hello, Miss Thurston. It's me, Yanni. I'm here. We made peep s'mores this morning. We'd love for you to have one if you like. All right. Thank you. We cooked with Creole this morning and we made these wonderful peep s'mores in celebration of Easter this weekend. Have one. I'd love for you to have one. These are great. Oh, I, I tried one. They're fantastic. Trust me. Oh, man. Thank you. I hope you like it. Have a great weekend. Thank you. We'd love for you to have one. Yes. Oh, they're fantastic. Trust me. Trust me. Oh. This is great. We made them fresh this morning with Mr. Creel. They're fantastic. All right. We're going to get broken. Thank you very much. It's crunchy. It's crunchy. Thank you. You know, we heated it up in the microwave. We made it extra puffy. I'm glad you like it. Delicious peep s'mores for Easter. We'd love for you to have one. Ah. Enjoy, enjoy. Have a great weekend. Oh, it's hey, me. Hey, how's Yanni. it going? It has been a while. Oh, man, it's going great, Mr. Glassman. Oh, Love and Olivia. Yeah. Hey, yeah. so we made something with Mrs. Creel this morning. Peep <laughs> s'mores. <laughs> I know. Trust me, they're fantastic. We'd love for you to have them. Don't worry. They're sanitary. Don't worry. Oh, this is good. Should I eat it now? Of course. Yeah, enjoy it. 
That warms my heart, Mr. Glassman. I'm glad you enjoyed it. We've got to go. This is so good. Oh my gosh, Jared Hur. Yanni, how's it's it's going? Yanni, Brother, what's up? how's it going? It's going good. I just got off swim practice. Oh, dude, Did you guys we, do some cooking with me? We real? made some peep s'mores this morning. I'd love for you to have one, Jared. I think you'll love it. I just got done directing our last cooking with Creel. You know, editing is a long process. You I know it. all about that. Look, I get it. I get it. I'm, 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 that's not as much my specialty, but uh, cooking is definitely where I can do something. Great. I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you like it. Mr. Sondheimer, it's me, Yanni Tasso. I and this, my, this Creel and myself uh, made heat s'mores this morning. We'd love for you to try one. I washed my hands this time, I promise. Did you kill the peep for this? No, 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 no. We sacrificed the peep for the greater good of taste. This may be the least sophisticated thing I think you've ever made, Yanni. I mean, we made a Thanksgiving quesadilla, so. Nice one, nice one. There you have it, Gettysburg. Another rendition of Cooking with Creel. Let's send it back to the studio. So yeah, Easter break is upon us. We get a four day vacation. Mm -hmm. I know I'll mm -hmm. probably be spending endless nights probably swimming at the YWCA. Sounds like fun. Sounds editing like fun. footage. I do I'm a lot sure. of editing, sure. which you do the same, don't you? Uh, you know what? I, I, I enjoy more staying in the kitchen, you know, helping out with Miss Creel. Like, that was so much fun. Uh, but I'm always glad to appear in any production you're putting together, Jared. It's always a lot of fun. Yanni, and that's why I love you. You're always ready to jump into anything that we have going. Absolutely. Now, uh, with that, I think, uh, it's time to, I think it's time to wrap this show up. That's all you want to say, Yanni? All say. right. Well, thank you for watching, Gettysburg. I've been Jared Hur. And I'm Yanni Tasso. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you.